three rooms. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See, can't run from the truth. Not even on a horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. I'm taking you to the Nelf Guardians. You're a murderer, not a soldier. And you're a traitor. There's a scaffold out there with your name on it. Hey, soldier. Waiting on a late transport by any chance? What? Yes. Uh, Corporal Lifnik set out to command headquarters for medicine. He has yet to return, though he was due back several days ago. Medicine's here, in this box. And this is a three-in-one. Liar, thief, and your Corporal's murderer. Plow yourself, mutant. Captain Peter will see to him. And you, Nordling. Deserve our thanks. The medication will not save our men's lives, but it will ease their dying. Gotta say, I was kind of counting on a tangible token of gratitude. A golden, clinky one, in fact. I thought you acted from conviction, not greed. But if that is not the case, here. So you remember and tell others that Nilfgaard is generous with those who serve it willingly. Echelane dead uh. again. Ech Avon. Me. But Rollis will never believe it. Come on. <laughs> Make way. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. 
I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines. Too late. Attacked another one. <laughs> Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting, now. Now the Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. have already hatched. It's been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. 
Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. of power should draw from it. Plums are we can have them.
roof over your head, that's something. When the black ones laid siege to the sea, they burned the outskirts to the ground. Come on, Roach. 